there are several ways of keeping track of the stock market, from finance websites to modern investing apps. However, you might want to access information on stocks in a format that is more convenient than a website, and that gives you more details than an investing app. After all, the more information you have about the stocks you're investing in, the better decisions you can make for your portfolio. We are Parsub, and today we will go over the process of pulling information from Yahoo Finance into an Excel spreadsheet. Using a web scraper, you will be able to choose a specific set of stocks from Yahoo Finance and extract the exact information you'd need from each stock. For example, we will extract information from the stocks in the Berkshire Hathaway portfolio. To complete this task, we will use Parsub, an incredibly powerful and free web scraping tool. Make sure to download Parsub for free through the link in the description. Now it's time to get scraping. First, open up Parsub and click on New Project. Once you've created your new project, submit the URL you'd like to scrape. In this case, we have selected the Yahoo Finance page that keeps track of the Berkshire Hathaway portfolio. Once you've submitted the URL for your project, Parsub will render the web page. You will now be able to select the first element that you'd like to extract. Scroll down to the list of stocks and click on the first stock symbol in the list. In this case, that's AMZN for Amazon. It will be highlighted in green to indicate that it has been selected. In the left sidebar, rename the selection to stock. Parsub is now pulling the symbol and details URL for this stock. Now, we will select the rest of the stocks in the list which are highlighted in yellow. Click on the second symbol in the list to select them all. We will now ask Parsub to also pull the current date so that we know what day the information belongs to. To do this, click on the plus sign next to your stock selection. Click on advanced and choose the extract command. In the new extract command, use the drop down menu and choose today's date. Then rename your extraction to date. Click on the plus sign next to your stock selection and choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the first symbol in the list and then on the field next to it. An arrow will appear to show the association. Then rename your selection to company. You may have to do this for the second item in the list as well in order to extract the data for the entire table. Parsub will now pull the company's name next to the data that we already have. Repeat these steps and use the relative select command to select the rest of the data fields, including last price, change, change percentage, market time, volume, average volume, and market cap. Rename all of your selections accordingly. Your project should now look a little like this. Feel free to pause the video to have a better look. On the Yahoo Finance site, if you click through the details page for a specific stock, you can access additional details that are not present in the page that we just scraped. Because of this, we will now tell Parsub to click on each stock in the list that we just scraped and pull additional data from these pages. Next to the stock selection, click on the plus sign and choose the click command. A click setup screen will pop up asking if this is the next page button. Click on no and choose create new template. Name your new template to details page and click on create new template at the bottom. Parsa will now display the details page for the first stock in the list and create a new select command. Start by selecting the first label in the details table. In this case, it's previous close. It will be highlighted in green to indicate that it has been selected. The rest the rest of the labels in the table will now be highlighted in yellow. Click on the rest of the labels to select them all. They will now be highlighted in green. Rename your selection to labels. Use the icon next to the label selection to expand it. Delete the begin new entry in labels command. Now click on the plus sign next to the label selection and use the conditional command. This will allow us to select which labels we want to pull information from. For our first conditional command, we will use the following expression. Next, click on the plus sign next to the conditional command to add a relative select command. Use this command to click on the previous close label and then on the value beside it. Now Parsa will extract the stock's previous close into its own column. You can now copy and paste the conditional command we've created to pull additional labels. Just make sure to edit the conditional expression for each label. For example, the expression for open will be the following. Lastly, using drag and drop, make sure your selections are aligned correctly and not nested within each other. Your final template should look something like this. Your project is now complete and ready to be processed. However, you might not want to extract the data right in the middle of the day. You might be more interested in pulling data right before the stock market opens. We will now ask Parsub to run our scrape daily at 9am EST before the markets open. Project scheduling is a paid Parsub feature. To use it, in the left sidebar click on get data. Then click on the schedule button next to the run button. In this menu, enter the time you'd like to run the scrape at and click on save and schedule. Export Recording this kind of financial data on a schedule can be quite valuable. Using Parsub, you can now download this data as an Excel sheet or JSON file. If you run into any issues while working on your project, let us know through the live chat on our website and we'll be happy to assist you. And as always, check us out at Parsub.com and subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet.